this is Justin from the Dynamel project, and in this screencast we're going to go over some of the features you'll find new in version 6.7.0 of Dynamel. Um, we're going to be looking at the new save as draft feature that you'll find in the send a message, as well as the send a web page screen. Um, great! So drafts are kind of a new feature in Dynamel. Drafts allow you to start writing a message and then save it for later. It's been sorely missing in uh, Dynamail, and we're really happy to finally bring it out to you. So uh, let's play along. Um, here is, I'm just at the send a message screen in Dynamail, and I'm going to start writing a message. So let's, you know, change the subject to, this is my thanks subject. And then if you want, you can start um, writing something. Here's my thanks message. And I don't know, let's, let's add like an image or something. Browse, see what we got. Did I upload anything yet? Maybe I can you know, put something else in there. Hmm, this like a mm, fancy thing. Let's change this text to be bigger. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Looks good to me. Oh, you know what? I got something else I gotta do right now. So let's uh let's save this message. Fantastic, draft save, and uh um yeah, let's keep working for now. You know, I'm gonna Let's uh, send this only to a few of my friends. Justin, it's a good name. Cool. Let me we'll get this. Great. Um, save this again. Fantastic. Um, and that's all drafts are. You know, save the message as you go. Um, you can also check out what draft message you have. Right now, we only have one, the one I've just working on. And if I want to go back, there's a few ways to do it. This is the draft screen where you can uh, access right here. Um, you click on the subject. And now load up your draft message where you can work on again. As you see, my subject is still there, my message is still there, and if I go to this tab, my personal message you'll know, see that this is already filled in. So if I preview again, you'll see those same 11 people will um, get this message. Now, the thing about this thing, uh, this option is that it's dynamic. So if someone named Justin um, decides to um, subscribe to my mailing list, they would be added to this list, which is kind of cool. So that's that's drafts in a nutshell. Um, if I want to cancel the draft message, I can. Um, let's not. Um, I can also send a test message. Um, let's send it to myself. So in the new testing tab, let's just uh, add my address. I am subscriber. So, yeah, that's good to go. And if I save this graph, and go back, that um, form field will also be saved. All the form fields that are available to you on the screen are um, saved. We need to save the graph. Hello? Is fantastic. So, let's send a test message to myself. Good, so it's test message sent to you in my address. Nice. And it tells me I have a graph. So let's check my email. There it is. Fantastic. So once you're ready to send, so let's say you, um, I'm just going to copy the URL to the screen. Crazy map. So that's the URL to the screen. If I um, decide to and then come back, and then just set the URL back in. Once my browser has reloaded that screen, if it may. You'll see that again, my, mess my message is all the same thing. Okay, so, custom subjects. With my message, um, testing things there, my partial mailing list, sending uh, parameters are there. Everything's ready. Um, so I can just go ahead and send the message when I'm ready. Um, say I don't want this message anymore, I just want to get rid of it. Just click the link that says cancel message. Say OK. And would you know it? No more message. Um, so drafts work for both the send a message screen, which we've been working on, as well as the send a web page screen. Um, which is the kind of awesome. 
Um, and that's graphs in a nutshell. Um, you can have as many graphs as you want, um, edit them, will save them if you want, remove them if you like, things like that. Um, thanks for watching this small, tiny screencast and the new graphs feature of .ml.